Hello everybody, my name is Ginger, Ginger Nessie, Jinji, whatever you would like, and today we're playing some Voice of Cards, the Isle Dragon, no, it's not, it's the Forsaken Maiden, I keep saying that, I'm gonna say that for a few episodes more, um, I just had a really stressy day, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot that we needed to heal her, whoops, I've just had a really stressy day, so this game is just very peaceful and very chill and very just, oh. So it's not, it's, it's, it's just, that's what I'm after. Just a chill time. And that's what we're here for. So if you're, if you're here for a chill time as well, come along. I'll try and give you that, but I can't promise anything. I've always found that this game and, and obviously the one that I called this game anyway, uh, the Our Dragon Wars was just very chill. And I was like, I don't have to worry about it. Like, it's just, is it easy? Kind of, but it's not. Good offensively work. easy, you know? There's still got to be a little bit of strategy in it. But yeah, it's just a really, really chilled vibe. Didn't It did not want to move then. That was fun. Whoops. Could I not walk into mountains? <laughs> oh. A well-to-do looking old man calls out to you. Care to try your luck? Yeah. You decide to tempt fortune. The old man says that if you can roll a higher number than specified, you'll win a prize at no cost. However, a meager roll will require you purchase the prize from him at an inflated price. Okay. Now then, let's begin. Today's prize is... The old man pulls something from his bag. Okay. If you can roll two or higher, it's yours to keep. If you cannot, it's still yours, but 600 gold will be mine. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Let's see. You take a die from the old man and give it a squeeze. It's do or die. <laughs> Get it. Hey. Your wager with the old man pays off. He hands you your prize and says, this is only the beginning. Before taking his leave. Well, that's cryptic and freaky. Freaky. Right, we've got some rings, haven't we? Being a bit slow today. Not me, the, this game. I think it's because it's been on all day, but I don't know. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, right, do we want two extra... Is that health? I'm guessing so. Or two extra defense. I'd assume it's the same... I'm tempted to give him the health and Lati the defense. The only reason is because um, he's got self heal, whereas Lati's got heal anyone. So if it's self heal, the self heal is going to be more beneficial if he's got more HP rather than if he's got more defense, you know? I could be wrong. I do feel as though uh, they do this a lot. Oh, hang on. There's a thing. So hot, you grumble as you use your shirt to fan yourself. Wondering how Laddie is holding up, you turn and see her squeezing a blue ball of fluff tightly. That's a monster, friend. She begins friend. to rub her cheek against it. From the elated look in her eyes, you can only guess how cooling it must feel. But the sight sends shivers down your spine. Laddie, that's a monster, you shout, readying your weapon. Oh, it's a fight. Okay, I didn't know it was going to be a fight. Oh, it's a tough one as well. Happenstance cards. Two, uh, two, two water damage dealt by all enemies and allies. Okay, right. So if he acts first, we can charge it. We can't charge it. All right. Uh, so we'll just do magic strike. We're gonna go surprise, surprise. 
Nope. All right. Failed. You little bish. Little bish. Nice. Decrease water damage. Okay, so there's no point in doing that. We weren't going to, but still. I think I should heal... Lack? I want to say it's Lack. I don't know. Okay. Magnificent. I know I am. Thank you. It's full water damage. So, get your facts right. There's like loads of chains through a coat, I've just noticed that. <laughs> there we go. Killed a monster. Look at us go. Oh. Oh. There's an enemy. You win. Thank you. I'm just literally here vibing. I'm having such a just a just a good sway. I sound like insane when I'm doing that, but I'm not what well, I am a bit insane. <laughs> You've got to be a bit insane to start a YouTube channel, you know. Nice. Right, uh, just bear with me. Um, I'm just having to um, answer this phone call. Sorry about that. I got dragged into work. <laughs> I'm getting overtime for it though, so I can't complain. So, um, where were we? Just exploring, weren't we? We're just having a look around. Having a look, see what's happening over here. Oh, just at the seafront. Okay. But I'm back. I'm all yours. Fight him off. I'll try. That's nine down. Okay, so uh, I want her to heal, actually. Right. Crack and open a Coke because I need sugar. No, right. I'm having the sugar now so then I can go to bed early and wake up uh, like at an all right time. Because I've got just got a few errands to go tomorrow. Like, go to the gym. I know, me, gym. Ugh. Treasure? What? I think we start with that one, so we'll go with this one. Quality salve, okay. Game. If it's anything like the last one, it takes a bit to fix. It takes just... Give it time, it'll fix itself. There we go. Ta-da! Right, I'm just gonna just go to the village. Go to Coveton. The village floats in the center of a cove. The gentle lapping of waves fills the air. Coveton seems like a peaceful place, far removed from conflict. As you enter the village, you're greeted by an unusual sight. A paper doll flitters about like a bird above a man's hand. Uh, how's that paper doll moving? The man sees your curious gazes and explains that he animates it with a magic charm. That's cool. He claims that all the villagers use such spells to enrich their lives. Like having companions made out of paper. At your straightforward I think it's over question, here, isn't it? The man appears to be at a loss for words. Oh. Now, Is there a shrine maiden? Could she be I read that as maiden shrine. Though the maiden isn't here now, 
you know for certain that one lives in the village. Isn't that the shrine? You thank the man, then resume your search for the maiden. Okay, all right. Let's go to the maiden shrine. Is she there? The entrance to the shrine is resplendent with seashells. The maiden must make a hobby of collecting them. No, guess you should not. All right, cool. Hello. The old woman stares intently into a crystal ball. Not ready to show me, are you? She mumbles at it. She tells you she first used magic when she divined who she would marry nigh on 50 years ago. You can't help but admire her dedication to the craft. The village gets so lively when the maiden is here, the man mutters, his brow furrowed with worry. Why are you worried, hun? What's gonna happen to her? The woman sighs. That maiden's gone gallivanting again today. Oh, she's got one that's like a dog. It's really cute. Despite being tasked with protecting the village, it seems she has quite the infamous reputation. The man tells you the village may be renowned for its magic charms, but the tasty fish caught here aren't half bad either. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of fish. Although I'm getting back into it. Face contorted in concentration. The young boy deftly folds a piece of paper into the shape of a bird. You ask him about the maiden. I saw her at the maiden shrine, he says, as he tosses the paper bird into the air. Wonder of wonders, the paper bird flaps its wings and flies about. Showing you where the maiden shrine is. We've already been there, and there's also a sign outside saying maiden shrine, so it's kind of useful. I don't think that's there for everyone, though, you know. <laughs> Let's see what the armor has got to offer. It's very slow. I'm gonna restart this after. After I've done this episode, I'll just restart it because I think it's just getting a bit tired. Items. We've got at least. We don't. Okay. Oh, we do. Little god nugget. Deal. Okay. Let's buy. So we've got that. So then the next one is the Knight's Halberd, which ups by six, but up, d lowers uh, speed even more. Which isn't really what I want. I think that's really important because, especially for this guy, because it ups his speed. Oh, I don't have enough gold because <laughs> it's 8,000. Uh. All right, cool. Let's go. Oh, well, that's the shape of the maiden. At the heart of the shrine, you see a young woman and man discussing something in earnest. The woman's name is Fila. She is, without a doubt, the maiden shouldering the isle's fate. The man's name is Hyde. He is the maiden's wise Jekyll. attendant. It was Dr. Jekyll. Uh, excuse me. I need to speak with the maiden, you say, interjecting yourself into their conversation. Fila whirls to you and asks, which do you think is cuter? Though you're baffled by the sudden and unrelated question, she doesn't miss a beat and shows you a seashell in each of her hands. Uh... <laughs> um, we'll go with the one on the right. 
You suppose the asymmetry of the shell in her right hand could be considered cute and point to it. Fila grins. Looks like I win, she boasts to Hyde, who gives a hmm in response. Apparently, the maiden and her attendant had wagered on which shell was cuter. You had heard about the Azure Maiden from the villagers, but now you see for yourself that she's quite the free-spirited woman. You explain to them why you've come and ask if Fila will lend you her maiden's relic. Despite knowing the circumstances, Hyde tells you that things just aren't that simple. Uh, <laughs> with actions, no, with words. You take a deep breath and prepare to persuade them when... I'll let you borrow it if you help me find the pirate's treasure, Fila says. She explains that there are rumors of pirate treasure hidden within the crystal cave southeast of the village. Pirates, you murmur. You think about it for a moment, but with little other choice, you agree to help. You never change, sighs Hyde. But Fila pays him no mind as she prepares to embark on the adventure. <gasps> Let's go! Let's go find old Captain Kid's treasure! And it's frozen. Right, okay. Uh, the mains in your intents uh, you'll, bef you'll befriend during your journey have fixed armor and weapons. You can only change their rings. I am going to just save and restart this. I'll just pause myself, pause it while I do it. Hang on. Just because it is going really slow. Uh, lucky for you, there are all sorts of establishments in town to support you on your adventure. Would you care to have them explained now? Don't be a stranger. Right. We'll go through those two, what they're like, in just a minute. Uh, we're just going to save. Yeah. Game. Cool. Right. So I will be back in just a memento. Hello, friends and enemies. Uh, I'm back. She's back. And she's in clearly need of a wash. Um, right, so we've got... Um, it doesn't say their names. Cool. Uh, we've got this one. We've got them. Uh, they've got stab. They've got burst, which is deal animal... Deal animals. Deal damage to all enemies if roll is three or greater. Freeze, which is attack plus four water damage. Inflict freeze if roll is six or greater. We've got heal plus, which restores loads of HP. And we've also got mysterious heart, which deals pl attack plus 15 damage, inflict water resistance down. I don't know if it's attack of both of their attacks combined, or whether it's just plus 15, or if it's attacks of one. So we'll have to look at that. Uh, and then we've got this person. Uh, and they've got stab, assault, which is deal damage, inflict, attack down if roll is four or greater. So stab is probably, uh, assault plus is, uh, assault is always probably the one to go for, uh, if you've got gems to spare. Um, rain call, which is deal water damage to all enemies. Uh, fatal sign, which is deal 10 dark damage, inflict deadly poison if roll is four or greater. And then northern cross. Attack a deal attack plus five water damage to all enemies inflicts freeze if roll is six or greater Cool, so now let's look at their abilities. No, that's not the wrong thing abilities So we've got the maiden of freedom, which is grants immunity to Paris para paralysis and freeze and it's a wee surprise which is a generate one gem at the start of battle so we'll generate the start of battle with two gems and then we've got this person's and it's Grit, which is recover 4 HP after combat ends, which is similar to what the hero was in the R Dragon Roars. And Exploit weakne Weakness, which is add 3 to damage if a target is inflicted by status ailment. So that's good. So, they are level 6. They're a lower level than what we are. 
But let's see if we can get that. All right. Things have taken a very lively turn, haven't they? <laughs> let's go to this ghost ship. Because we've got some more. So let's see. Fight them off. We've leveled up a few levels as well. So I want to do... It's Thunderbolt. We need to do Thunderbolt with them, really. Because that's where they're weak against. Ouch. Doesn't get the freeze, but probably has got the kill. Yeah, got the kill. That sucks. Okay. We've got heal plus, so that might be something to do. We'll just stab. Good. Right, so Thunderbolt will kill. Exactly kills. Which is good. Oh. Wind resistance down. Okay. Do you have any wind abilities or not? Not really. Okay. Fine. Heal plus. Good. Have, have we got a... We do. We've got one. And it's useful having someone around. They're not particularly, like, healthy, healthy, but... We'll just heal. We are spending a lot of the time healing, though, so I do wonder... If it will do any good. Excellent. Okay, I was like, don't gang up on them! Like, they don't, they don't mean any harm. Uh, heal plus on... You. And hopefully you can get some damage done. Uh, we'll just go stab. We'll go for air thrust. Barely any damage. Okay, does some. I'll give him that. We'll go Thunderbolt. It won't kill, but it gets closer. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's fixable. Mostly. Uh, heal plus on, you, you've lost 20, you've lost less than 20, you've lost less than 20, so heal you. Plus you're on main damage loot at this point. We'll stab just to get rid of one. It doesn't even get rid of it, okay. Alright. Right. Heal. You. Can't lose the maiden. Okay, right. That's fine. That's the that's the the best case scenario. Then we can get heal plus on you. Actually, if we if we just because you need five, don't you? And we've got four. So if we just charge. Generate a gem. 
Then we get two, and then we can go on Northern Cross. Oh, wow, okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, that was shit. What the fuck was that supposed to do? Right. We'll get a quality salve when we use it on you. Georges. And then Thunderbolt. Okay, it's a random stale t st random ailment. Defense down. Oh, okay. That sucks. I do just love the the love, love the look at it though. Uh, we will. Don't need to heal anyone. It's fine. Stab. We will go assault. And then we'll go with air thrust. Fuck. All right, cool. It kills, so. Oh, that was worth it. Extra HP. Extra HP and speed. I don't think the the maiden and the maiden followers will level up though. So after exercising the spirit, you find a ring on the ground. Could this have been what the ghost was possessing? A ring of compassion. It's extra strength and increases critical chance. Okay, that might be good. I don't know who we're good for. I'm just gonna rest at the inn. No room at the inn. I'm sure there was a song we used to sing in school. The innkeeper's eyes light up in surprise and delight. Well, well, well. To what do I owe the honor of a visit from the son of the fortune teller's alliance chairman, she asks. We're all full up. Because there is this song, and I know it's the song, and I'm just trying to find it. Right, let's listen. I don't remember that. Sorry, we can't let you in. No room at the end. Her voice is annoying me. Right. <laughs> she clearly has you confused with someone else. But on the plus side, she is extremely happy to see you. So happy, in fact, she waives the fee for your room. Asa, I'm sure we've never paid for an inn like thing. But we just had a lot of HP left outstanding, and I was a bit like, I'd rather, I'd rather heal. Leaves the inn feeling rested. I'd rather heal and not, you know, than than after that hard battle than not, you know, because just because it, it would have just wasted so many turns. Lati would be healing, the main character would be self-healing. Which I'm assuming will be with a bottle of vodka, and that's how I self-heal anyway. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, let's go. Don't hold back. Ooh. Not killed though. Alright. Yeah, but it, it, it costs the... Oh, right, we'll do burst. 
I was like, that's just a lot of difficult. That's a lot of damage, like uh, gems to store up, though. All right, that's nice damage. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's good. I mean, it's risk based, but it's good. It's good. It's good. I might try the maiden's ability instead of this guy's. Instead of Hyde's. Is it Hyde? No, yeah, it's Do Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, yeah. Yeah, it's Hyde, isn't it? I don't know. I've never actually read that book. You spy a parcel on the roadside. As you pick it up, you are enveloped in a wonderful aroma. Oh. Inspecting the parcel. You read its intended destination was Coveton. You know not its contents. But will you complete its delivery? Yeah. You decide to deliver it on your way. And tuck the parcel into your bag. Because you might get like a, 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 a charm. Uh, like a, a card, you know? A mysterious card like you did in the other ones. It doesn't look like we've been able, able to get it so far, but you never know. 500 gold. Oh, look at us. Oh, look at us. We're at three and a half grand. We are more rich than I am. Which is not a surprise. <laughs> not a surprise at all. Don't hold back. <gasps> Thunderbolt on you. So what happens. Oh, dear. Oh dear, that did like nothing. Right. Let's do freeze. Oh, it's not all against all of them. Oh no. We'll do burst then. Hopefully we go over high. Oh, fuck. Oh, we could do rain call. Nice. Wow, I'm gonna cry. Because you don't seem magical in the slightest at the minute. Apart from air slash, so really that kind of defeats that point, so. I'm just talking bullshit at this point. Yeah, they're not leveling up. A monster appears. Its nose is twitching as it sniffs the air. Its gaze fixed on your bag. The aroma from the parcel you're carrying must have drawn it near. You'll have no choice but to fight it off. All right. Let's get down. Bring it. And fight. Blizzard. Go. All right then. That was fun. You should deliver the parcel to Coveton no. before it draws any other monsters. A dungeon rife. Oh, hang on. You've arrived at Crystal Cave. A dungeon rife with danger awaits within. Adventurers are advised to at least level three and stock up on supplies before town before entering. Right, okay. What we'll do then is uh, we'll deliver this to Coveton, but also we'll get some healing items from the Apothecary. Apothecary. The Apothecary. The, 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 that place, you know? Apothecary? Don't know. I'm big dumb. Right, so is it you we go to? Having arrived in Coveton, a woman asks you, Are you the postman? You shake your head no. She says she's been waiting forever at the village entrance for a delivery. Her eyes light up when you show her the parcel you picked up. That's what I've been waiting for. It seems the parcel contained an exotic perfume she ordered. But the scent of this perfume attracts monsters. Is it really safe to hand it over to her? Yeah. You hand her the parcel. 
explaining how dangerous this perfume is. But she is too overjoyed to notice your words. She's gonna like die in a horrible a way. In celebration of her long awaited perfume, she hands you a gratuity for carrying it all this way. I'll take that. I'll take that. We're at five grand. Oh, it's not the apothecary in this one. It's just. Oh, you can go to accessory shop as well. I did not know that. That's How may I help you? The proprietor inquires. I mean, that's a gorgeous spray. No, ring of protection. Guards against poison. Um. Guards against paralysis. It ups his speed. Protects against freeze. Uh, protects against seal curse and restores 3 HP at the start of each turn wow that's good is it? I don't know I don't know I don't know yet will that be all? the proprietor asks How may I help you? The proprietor inquires. I need some resurrection items. Have you got some? Have There we go. These guys. Buy more. That should be enough. Expensive. Cool. Will that be all? The proprietor asks. Let's go. I think I'm ready, ready for the dungeon. But I'll be ready in the next episode. So I'm going to say that my name has been that one dude you've been watching me play. Uh, Voice of Cards, the Forsaken Maiden. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.